ICIRS, we have been researching and studying the impacts of the war on drugs for the last 12 years. And Barcelona is the capital of Catalonia, which for the last three decades, there have been a lot of experimentation and innovation in regards to drug policy in uh, the sense of giving alternative to the impacts of the war on drugs. We consider that it would make sense to invite 30 delegates from all around the world that are interested in those uh, solutions or alternative to the war on drugs. So they have, they have a first-hand image and knowledge of uh, all those experiences. And hopefully when they go back to their countries of origin, they can keep spreading those experiences or making them fit into their realities. The Cannabis Social Club tour has really just reminded me of a familiar setting at home and how folks can really come into community and make their own, particularly working with black and brown communities in the Southern United States. This is something we've always done for our own protection and for our own liberation. So this model can really offer something new for our communities in order to access the plant. The pace of cannabis reform is accelerating. For many of us, we joined this effort because we have concerns rooted in public health and social justice, racial justice, inclusion of communities, and how our previous policies have pushed people away from the health and social support and social inclusion that, that we would like to build. It's important for us that we stay grounded in the principles that, that brought us here and that we continue to innovate regulations that don't just create legal access for cannabis where the profits flow without social benefit. So it was really interesting to see this in Barcelona, which is really where it was born. It's been about self-regulation, self-management, um, which in some ways can be good, but obviously there's others that might take advantage of that. How do we self-regulate thinking about reciprocity, uh, connecting with communities that we want to impact in a positive way? How do we make this places where men and women and trans people and non-binary people, the whole spectrum can feel comfortable and safe? It was interesting to see how at a community level, these people came together and together with different departments, for example, we had a very interesting presentation by the Department of Public Health. They could develop a system which was useful for the cannabis community itself, but also uh, safe for the community. Uh, ante cual cualquier aproximación política a un problema tan relevante como es el consumo de cannabis, hay dos formas de atenderlo. Mirar hacia el otro lado y ver que no pasa nada, o aceptar que esta es una realidad que existe y que hay que ponerle visibilidad y no opacidad. Y eso significa conocer el fenómeno, conocer el tema, conocer los clubs, conocer quién consume, cómo consume, con qué frecuencia, con qué calidad. ¿Para qué? Porque es la única manera de llegar para hacer políticas de salud pública. And in the debate is quite inspiring because it's seeing further down the line, even with all the challenges that the model has had, how community sustains uh, the idea and the ideal of having community spaces for cannabis use. To be able to visit Barcelona and to see just the diversity of uh, folks who are participating in the space and, and how community actually utilizes the need for uh, consumption spaces for social use spaces has been really interesting. Heard some different stakeholders and advocates yesterday as a part of this trip who described really seeing this social club model as a means to just expand legality. And that's critically important. We often forget about what I consider to be the most harmful part of prohibition, which is criminalization. The people who've been harmed by the regulations and over-incarceration of cannabis use for years and years on end might not have the capital and the means readily available to be able to purchase a space and do all of the things necessary to fall into regulation and compliance with our local jurisdiction. There's been a lot of focus here in Barcelona around the people and I would really love to see ways in which I could bring some of those ideas back to the District of Columbia when I return. It's necessary that we have not only control over the control, but also the conscience about the plants and about the substances that generate pleasure nos generan conocimiento y nos generan intercambios culturales. I'm really excited to come out here and see how community oriented 
all of the businesses are because we don't have that same thing in cannabis in Colorado. We want to have drug reform. We want to include criminal justice in that. It's about educating people about the medicinal properties of this plant. It's about being able to get information out there that allows individuals to understand this plant more. Catalonia has had the opportunity to explore social consumption spaces in an informal sector and seeing that has been very enlightening and very useful to going back to New York because we're opening up and licensing social consumption spaces. If you move in a commercial direction, I think it's important to think about the role of larger sort of multinational interests or investors and in understanding who is participating in the cannabis industry. Corporate takeover is one of our main concerns. It's cannabis reform and actually all forms of drug policy reform should be about the people. They should not be focused on financial gain. La cannabis is una planta más dentro de dentro de nuestro ecosistema y, y como que nos ayuda como a situar diferente la, la posición. Because we always say that cannabis is the gateway drug. It's the great gateway to more sustainable development and human rights based drug laws. That's really the harm reduction that we're looking for, is how can we just feel safer in the community together? How are we ensuring that everyone will feel safer by repealing some of these criminalization laws? And then how can social equity really have a chance to bloom if we create those conditions?